Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna ma be making Pudo from a box. Um, this is the brand that we, me and my mom use all the time, usually. Um, I don't know about other Pudo box mix mixes, but this is the one that we're gonna be using in this video um, and what I always use, so yeah. Um, if you guys do not own silicone, like, um cupcake holders um you guys should go and get some because they're like very convenient they're reusable and stuff and you could wash them and you don't have to like toss it after every use so yeah it's better than the um disposable cupcake holders so if you guys want to get the same silicone holders that i have i'll be sure to link it down below where i got it um I got mine from Amazon and it comes with a pack of 24 so you get 24 in the pack but so I already showed you like the um the ingredients and stuff I'm pretty sure I'll have to re-watch this video um I'm currently doing like sometimes when I'm doing the voiceover the video like goes super fast um very very fast paced but anyways i'll try my hardest to try to talk according to what's in the what i'm watching while doing the voiceover but we'll see um so i'm pretty sure i showed you like the coconut milk rice puree and then sugar i think oil but you guys will see in the video and i'll be sure to um actually um type the recipe down in the description or in the comments down below but so if if i remember to do it um i will try to write it down somewhere to be sure to do that for you guys so you could watch the video and have the recipe at the same time and so it's not like difficult for you guys to remake this recipe for my video so yeah so i already put like the batter mix powder mix what's it called um let me know what it's called i i have no idea what to call it usually i call it like i don't know i just put the puto mix in there and then i'm gonna add in the dry ingredients and then the wet ingredients and then we're gonna mix it up and I will show you guys like the my little twist on this um <clears throat> box mix that makes it like so much better. It makes it like so moist and not like dry and stuff. So yeah. It makes a difference, guys. So how's everyone's day going? So now I'm gonna put um sugar i'll like i said i'll add in i'll either put in the description or in the comments better down eh. <laughs> i don't know what's happening but i'll be sure to put in the measurements and like the ingredients down either in the description or in the comments down below so now i'm adding a whole can of coconut milk so this is what makes it like not dry and stuff um but you guys also have to um not overcook it so it won't be dry but this also helps too um yeah i know if you like overcook it it like i mean it's still edible it's still like good but it's not like as good as if you don't overcook it just cook it to the right time and stuff so um what's the next step this video has been filmed like a month ago and it's like currently what's the date today july 7 i think i think that's the date today but it's Wednesday, July 7th, so, yeah. um, so I added in our oil, 
so in the box it comes with two of the batter mix mixes mix sorry. however you say it but so you have to like kind of like double it since there is two in there um so yeah now i'm adding in our rice puree i think you have to like ration out the rice in the water um i don't know how to better explain it because i do cook rice sometimes and i just cook it according to so a trick for cooking rice in the rice cooker you like um put in your how many ever cups of rice and then you put in your water and to make sure like if it's the right amount of water and stuff you just take your middle finger and like i think it's like the first line or whatever and that's how you tell um if you have the right amount of water for the amount of rice um it worked that trick works pretty good um so yeah that's something i learned from my filipino mother so While I'm doing this voiceover, I'm also eating, so if you hear, like, chewing and stuff, that's what it is. And, like, yeah. So, for some reason, the batter is looking a little chunky at the moment. Um, so, I think what I did to make it less chunky was add a cup of milk. And if it was still chunky, I added a little bit more until it wasn't it was the right consistency so if you're y'all's um puto mix in the bowl is looking a little chunky just add like a liquid or something like milk or water um i basically followed like the directions off the box and then I just added my variations, the coconut milk and the rice puree. Um, so yeah, nothing really special, but adding in the coconut milk and rice puree really makes a difference. It really makes it like taste like 10 times better. Um, I've had regular puto before without that, and it tastes good still, but adding this, oh, it makes a difference, so. I'm trying to get ca caught up on my videos because I have so many videos um, planned out that I want to do for you guys. So I'm trying to like get caught up, caught up so I can film another video. So I'm not like way behind and I have millions of videos to edit um, for you guys. So hopefully I get caught up by the end of this week. So next week I could put out um, new content for you guys. So I think I'm going to make like some type of Filipino bread, either like panda sal or Spanish bread or um, ensaimada. Hopefully I said that right. Hopefully I didn't butcher the name, but I'm going to make some Filipino um, food for you guys because I want to have a mixture of American and Filipino since that's what I am. I'm half, half and half. So I just want to mix both of my cultures and stuff. So. And then, um, I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but I filmed what we had, what I made for dinner for my family yesterday. Um, it's almost close to being edited. I just don't want to upload it until... I have my videos that I filmed before that um, posted and uploaded. So, yeah, but hopefully, hopefully by the end of this week, I have all my videos caught up because I want to um, film something new. Um, you guys will see hopefully next week. So next week, me and my family are going on vacation, so that's fun. What are you guys up to this summer? Anything fun, exciting, or anything?
so i made my dog an instagram account well he's always had an instagram account since we brought him home as a puppy but i've really started to take it seriously and actually like post the last time i posted was like a while ago like maybe 2020 and 2021 like we're seven months in into 2021 but i actually posted i actually like took it seriously like about two weeks ago so it was like june something but anyways i took it seriously i posted some photos and stuff and he's actually like gaining like views and stuff and like followers and like people actually like what we're posting so i'm gonna continue to take it seriously and yeah so but if you guys want to follow his account i'll put it down in the description down below and you guys can follow him um i try to post every single day so new content on his instagram every single day so if you guys enjoy um seeing dogs on your feed then go ahead and hit that follow button and you know follow elliot and see his daily life what he's up to and stuff and things something that he's been doing it that we really want to catch on camera is him jumping like it's crazy if we catch him one day on camera i'll be sure to upload it on either on here or his instagram account so so now i am mixing it make sure it's all incorporated and i already added the milk because it doesn't seem to look very chunky at the moment wait never mind i just showed milk again what's this video is going to be super dang long. I think it's a, almost 30 minutes. Um, This is going to be my longest video on the channel. Um, If you guys want more content like this, like long videos and vlogs and such, then just let me know and I'll be sure to do that for you guys. Kind of sounds like an ASMR at the moment. I don't know why. But I'm not trying to do an ASMR. So what are your guys' thoughts on ASMRs? Um, for me, I'm, I'm not a big fan of them. Um, there was this girl on TikTok. She did an ASMR. And this is probably the only ASMR that I actually enjoy watching. Um, she took like a sponge and like soaked it in water and soap and just like was squeezing the sponge out with the water and soap in it. It like sounds so relaxing. I don't know why I like that ASMR, but I just don't like the ASMRs where people are chewing and stuff like that. But I do like um, the sponge in the water ASMR. I don't know if that, that's what it's called, but yeah. I kind of want to do like some summer video, like a haul video where showing like dresses and swimsuits and stuff, but I don't know if I'll film that or not. We'll see. I also want to do like a, I don't know, a hair video where like I show some simple summer hairstyles that you could do. Um... I really want to do something new with my hair. I'm the only hairstyles I do with my hair is either a bun or a ponytail. I mean, it's good sometimes because it keeps me keeps my hair out of my face, but I'm just tired of wearing the same hairstyle all the time. So I'm gonna find something new and film it for you guys.
someone on my street is like going either on their moped or motorcycle or whatever it is and just going back and forth it gets so annoying sometimes that's the only thing i don't like about summer in my neighborhood is because people just like go super fast on their bikes and just like rev the engine and stuff it like scares my dog too so i just don't like it that's annoying so yeah so i'm just checking on it every so often there's a time check i did this really late at night i like finished this at like midnight oh my gosh this took so long for no reason whatsoever i don't know why it took so long but in the end it was good so here's my little taste test and yeah so with these silicone things you do not have to like spray it with cooking spray or butter or oil or anything you could just put the whatever batter you're using bake it or steam it or whatever and it will like plop right out like it it, it just comes out so easily like there's nothing left in the mold holder. So here's me blowing it off because it's super hot. And I was impatient. So I did grab it when it was super hot. There's the inside. And if you guys could tell by my expressions, I think it was pretty good for... Yeah. This part... I have no idea why I put this in the video. The camera is just pointed towards the bamboo steamer. And then yeah. So if you guys haven't watched my world market haul, you guys should go do that and you can see what we got that day. But this is the bamboo steamer from that haul. And this is the first time um actually putting it to use. And it it works pretty well um i like it a little bit better than the metal steamer that we have but we usually use the metal steamer for the um when we either steam broccoli or other vegetables so this one's is pretty good so now i'm doing like a second batch but it has this one has filling inside so we made pulled a pull uh I can't speak pulled apart pork maybe a few days before this before I filmed this video and so I've been um waiting until we got like a bamboo steamer and now that we finally had have had one have one have one um I could finally was able to film this video so that yeah i've been wanting to film this video so bad because i've been think the last time we cooked puto mom's like i bet it would taste good with the pork inside of the puto and i've been thinking about it ever since she said that and it sounded so good so we went ahead and tried it and filmed it for you guys so So these ones, I did have to butter it since it's not silicone. If I didn't butter it, it would be freaking stuck to the thing. But I think I will use a flan <laughs> mold holder. And then I just use random ceramic um, bowls. Is it a bowl? I don't know if you'll call it a bowl, but we're going to call it a bowl in this video. So what I'm going to do is um, put some batter halfway in the molds, cook it a little bit. We're going to check on it to see if it's um, good. And then we're going to add the filling. Um, and then we're going to put the batter on top and then cook it for the remainder of the time. And then we're going to let it cool down, take it out, and then try it. So I forgot to film me trying it. So 
but I will show you. I'll, yeah, I guess I'll film one for you guys at the moment, right after I finish this voiceover. So, yeah. So I'll just move them the opposite way. What? Can y'all believe it's already July? Like, it feels like June started, like, yesterday. It It's going by so freaking fast. So I covered it back up, and we're going to wait. So I found something where it won't cut off the video so I didn't use it in this video but if in the other videos you'll see I'll talk about it more in my other videos but for now this is what we're dealing with I don't know why but it's so cold in my house but I'd rather it be cold than hot because with cold in the house, you could just layer and put blankets or a jacket or anything. But when it's hot, it's it's not good. You can't, obviously you can't layer because it's hot, but, you know. Sometimes I could be like so random, like I'll just talk about random things and it doesn't even pertain to anything I'm talking about like or doing or just anything i don't know oh i made a mess so this is what they're looking like so far I'm trying to quietly chew, but I don't know. Hopefully you guys can't hear me chewing because, I don't know, I just don't like to do that. And this video is all over the place. It's me talking about the Pluto and then me rambling about random stuff, like, Hopefully you guys can hear me too because I'm not like all the way up close to the microphone. So, but if you guys can't hear me, then I'm gonna have to refilm film this video, and I don't know if I want to do that. But if I have to, I will. I will. I will. 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 Uh, I really want to make a smoothie right now, but I like I like to drink smoothies more in the morning rather than midday, but I might, I don't know. We also have fruit in our fridge, so I might eat fruit. So we haven't even had the steamer for that long and a piece freaking broke off. Um So yeah. So here's me using a fork, checking the top, make sure it's like kind of cooked, but not all the way cooked since we're going to cook it even longer after we add the pulled pork. And yeah. So I literally made this, but I forgot to try it. So I just stuck in the freezer and I have yet to try this. So after this voiceover, I'll be sure to film... The video of me taste testing it or not 
We'll see. Depends on what I'm feeling like. I don't even mean to be lazy on editing my videos. It's just... It feels like so much work sometimes. Now I get um, full-time YouTubers, what they go through. So... But filming these videos actually helps me get out of my comfort zone a little bit. So, that's good. I, what I feel like from my first video to like my current video, my recent videos now, it like I could hear the confidence in my voice and stuff and what I'm doing. So, that's a plus. That's the main reason I actually posted on YouTube for once. Um... I think in my other videos I mentioned that I posted on this channel either, I don't know if it was three years ago. I think it was three years ago or I don't know. It was a few years ago and I posted on this channel but I quickly privated it because I wasn't confident in my in that video and I just wasn't confident on posting on YouTube for anyone in the world to see so now i am and i'm filming videos which is surprising but here we are and yeah these videos are so fun to film i enjoy filming videos now and i just want to put out content for everyone's interest and other things like that so yay me um thank you for all my sub current subscribers and new subscribers and anyone just i'm thankful for you guys so yeah I wish th I knew a way to put like the time and date on my videos because I want to start doing that. I want to add the time and date on when my videos is filmed inside the video. But I don't know how to do that. Like I've seen a bunch of YouTubers doing the time and date on their videos. But where it's like it's like a rectangle that pops up in the beginning and just on the clip and i just want to learn how to do that so if you guys know how to do that let me know in either the comments or my dms or whatever um thing to contact me and just let me know and yeah I was gonna say something but I forgot. That happens all the freaking time. Here's me smoothing out the batter, make sure it's all in the crevices and stuff. I kinda overfilled one, not gonna lie. So yeah. <laughs> I don't know if this is gonna end good or not. I think it ended pretty good, even though I overfilled it quite a bit, but I don't know if I sp yeah, I spooned some out and put it in the big one. I knew I was going to do something. Let me know what content you guys would like to see next. In the comments. Then I'll cover it back up. And here's the ending. Um, so yeah, see, if I didn't, if I wasn't to like butter or oil the molds, it would be stuck. Um, it still was a little bit stuck, but anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll be sure to film me tasting the puto with the filling inside. Thank you guys for watching, and like, comment, subscribe, and share with others. Bye.